brush, grey on the other. Everyone thinks of a brush only having one side. Could you hold that for a second, please? Starting at the bottom, go with the growth or flow. So this is growing upwards, two colours on the brush. Starting at the base, heavier line at the base. As you lift the paintbrush, then you get all the dark and shade on each branch as you pull up. Amazing. Yeah. Next one. Dark again, light again. So it's all about knowing when to reload, when to change colour. Dark to the same side as before, starting at the bottom, drawing it up again, and you can now cross over, and you get the dark and the light on each branch again. Wow. Third one, dark light. This is all to do with perspective, so you'd need to do lesson two of this. That comes up the middle, as it's going to be the clearest and nearest to you. And then that will break out and turn into yet more branches that will then fade on up. And by using the dyeing brush at the top, you get more detail. Then if you swap brushes, could you just hold up, be careful you don't get it on me. White on one side, this one's a small square ended brush. White on one side, grey on the other. Light shines from above. This is to do with focal points again, which is the other lesson, so I won't even attempt to tell you. Um, starting in the middle, light to the top, dark to the bottom. I haven't got enough dark, sorry. Light to the top, dark at the bottom. Then as the paintbrush starts to die, oops, you start to move away from the focal point and into peripheral vision, creating the illusions we've just learnt about. Mm -hmm. Then if you start at the bottom with white to the top, press the brush up with the dark to the bottom, and you end up with a whole environment and a shrubbery for the tree to go in. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> no.